Welcome to episode 8 of Close Tone and today it's all about the skids in Big Country and Stuart Adamson's tone. Now <clears throat> this is more of the sort of skids tone but it does for Big Country as well. So um, I think he used a, a Yamaha but he also used Les Pauls as well so I'm just going to use this cheap gold thing and this is what I created the sound with. So it's uh, over to the yeah. helix. This is the helix bit now. This is how we created my skids, big country sound for Stuart Adamson. As usual, I've got the guitar on. Like I said, sometimes it's not automatic, sometimes it's at uh, 10k, so it's at 10k this time. But I've always got the noise gate on. It's just the way I roll, man. Um, back in the day, I think Stuart was using uh, H&H, if you what I could see on top of the flops, or top of the pops, or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, so the amp that, um, before I get to the amp, I've um, I went for the screamer and I've got my drive set at 30, bass 61, tone is it 78, treble is it 53 and 86 for the output and the amp that I've chosen is a solo lead OD which I think is a solo demo which is nothing like what Stuart used to use but took the drive back a bit you know so I've got a 4 cab 12 cab because he was using two um two um H and H two twelves so that would be four twelves and the drive's at 49 the bass is 44 45 for the mid, tone 42, dee 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 dee. presence is at um, 48, master, master, is it, you know, there you go, you can see it, and I pull back the bias X as well, so that's the amp, and I've also got uh, just a, a simple EQ, as you can see there, Perfect. Okay. And then this is where it comes into the getting the old Stuart Adamson sound. What I've done is I went on to the dual pitch. See, and I got it set. <coughs> oh. As you can see, seven zero 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 ten. 16, 0, 0, 10, and I pulled the mix away down because I just wanted to give it that hint of deeg, you know, and the level is up there. So that's what I create me that. And then I've got my delay time away down to 282, my feedback's up to 48, the mix. 47 and the level is there and the tails are off because it's really matter about the tails anyway and now we move on to the reverb available here it goes I'm using a plate and I've took that back quite a bit the K to the 2.5 you know the level is 19 you can see it all perfect anyway so there you go, that's how uh, basically created my skids uh, BC, Big Country, skids Big Country, Stuart Adamson sound. Now it's more leaning towards the skid sound because the Big Country sound was a wee bit more bagpipey sort of sound, but I can get away with it. So it's just overall for anybody that wants to sort of know how Stuart would prob possibly get his sounds. Like I say, it's only close tone. So, there you go. Okay. Good stuff. I'll see you on the playing section in a minute. <laughs>
Hey folks, thanks for watching my uh, Big Country and Stuart Adams and, and Skids thing there. Uh, it's much appreciated. So just remember folks, there's loads of other things to come. Um, I'm really enjoying doing what I'm doing, even though it doesn't look like it, but I am. I'm just not very good on camera. So anyway, remember and push that bell notification and subscribe to me and I'll try and keep you as a subscriber. I hope I can do that. So till the next one, which is number nine, and then there's a couple of new things coming in a week or two, and uh, I'll catch you on the other side. Okay, see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. You're all Helix Boss.